Hi, boys and girls. I am back, and this time I am back with the story. So Milo is taking a nap, and I am sharing my screen so that I can show you the website, which is shortkidstories.com. And here is the actual story that I will read to you. I'll leave some more information in the description box if you're interested in writing your own stories. So let me know your thoughts. But here goes the read aloud. Milo wants to listen too. The Cracked Pot. There was once an elderly Chinese woman who had two large pots, each hanging on the ends of a pole which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it, while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water. At the end of the long walks from the stream to the house, the cracked pot arrived only half full. For a two full years, this went on daily, with the woman bringing home only one and a half pots of water. Of course, the perfect pot was proud of its accomplishments, but the poor cracked pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it could only do half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be bitter failure, it spoke to the woman one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your house. The old woman smiled. Did you notice that there are flowers on your side of the path, but not on the other pot's side? That's because I have always known about your flaw, so I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back, you water them. For two years, I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate the table. Without you being just the way you are, there would not be this beauty to grace the house. Each of us has our own unique flaw, but it's the cracks and flaws we each have that make our lives together so very interesting and rewarding. You've just got to take each person for what they are and look for the good in them. Remember to enjoy the perfume of the flowers on your side of the path and send this story to all your friends. Friendship is like flowers. It must be cherished. I just thought that was a great story. So I will end the video here but I will make another video to just talk about this website, its authors, its ratings, and a few other facts about it and see if you have interest in being a part of it. Have a great day and keep reading. Bye-bye for now.